what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i made my ruched drawstring dress so let's get started for this dress we need two and a half yard of stretchy fabric scissors tailor chalk a measuring tape thread and sewing machine so let's get started so for this dress i folded my fabric into four places and I have the wrong side facing me. So I'm going to take the neck measurement. I'll be using four inches for the neck measurement. And then I've ruled the line here. So the next measurement is my neck circumference. That's the measurement around my neck. I'm going to be using 16. So you divide your neck measurement by four. And then you add one and a half inch for ease. And then on this line, I'm going to be taking my shoulder measurement. So you divide your shoulder measurement this time by two. So I'm going to be using seven and a half. And then I'll add one inch. So for the armhole, I'm using nine inches. You can use eight and a half, depends on you. I'm using nine inches. So I'll draw this line down. And then I'll take one inch. I'll take one inch here. And then make a make a curved line for the armhole. And then on this line, I'll be taking my bust measurement. So you divide your bust measurement by four. And then I have nine. And then I'll add one inch. So for the waist, I'll be using 16. I'm going to mark from this line. I'm going to mark 16 inches. To take my waist measurement and then you divide your waist measurement by four and you add one inch for sewing So for the hip measurement, I'm going to be using, but I'm going to extend the waist measurement by eight inches. So I'll take my measurement, my waist measurement again here. I'll drag it down. So when, when I draw my drawstring, I'll have some route here. And then for the hip measurement, I'm going to be taking my hip measurement with 25 or 26, 26 inches. And then you divide your hip measurement by four. And you add one inch. And then I'm going to draw the line on here like this. So 
for my heat and then just take it down to the end of the dress i've used let me check how many inches the whole dress so for the whole dress i'm using 54 inches so i'm just going to draw the hip measurement down to this place and then cut through the red line i'll cut this is what i have i have the neck area the armhole the waist and the hip and then i have the bottom i'm going to trim this so i'll go ahead and cut the sleeves so for the sleeves i folded my fabric into four places and i have the wrong side facing me so I'll take the length of the sleeve. I'm using 22 inches. And then I'll add two inches for allowance, for sewing allowance. And then I'll take the measurement around my wrist. I have eight inches. I'll add one inch for sewing. And then I'll take, for the armhole, I'll take six. I'm using six today. And then I'll draw a line around like this from my sleeve. And then I'll cut. I'll draw a line from here. And then cut and then I'll notch the middle. So I have two sleeves. I'll show you how to join your dress together so i have the front and the back of the dress so with the right sides facing each other you go over to your sewing machine you sew from the neck area to the shoulders so you're going to sew here down to the shoulders curve to the shoulders you do it on both sides so after joining the shoulders, beginning from the neck area to the shoulder, you take your armhole, you take your sleeves, you take the middle of the sleeve where you have notched. And then you place it on the middle of the shoulder. And then you pin it together. And then from there, you can pin, you pin all around the sleeves. To the end of the sleeve you pin it together you pin it on the other side too pin it all the way i've done that of the other sleeve So after pinning around it, you go over to your sewing machine and then you join, join it together. Do it on both sleeves. So I've joined both sleeves to the dress. So the next thing is to join the dress together. So I'm going to pin the armhole to armhole 
going to pin it together so I'll get an accurate measurement. You pin your armhole together of one sleeve. And then you join your dress from the beginning of the sleeve with one inch, leaving one inch. You sew your dress from the beginning to the end of the dress, leaving at least one inch allowance. I've done that of the other side. I've left at least one inch because with this space, I'm going to pass my string along on the side of the dress. So leave at least one inch when you're sewing together. I've joined both sides of the dress. And then the next thing is to cut the string. I've cut a string of two inches in the width. Two inches for the width. And 70 inches for the length. And then I cut two pieces of it. So I'm going to make the casing for the string. So I'll measure my dress because I want the string to start from 18 inches. So I'll measure my dress from the shoulder. And then I have 18 inches here. So I'm going to go to my machine now and then sew this to the sides of the dress like this so you're going to go over to your sewing machine you mark this 18 inches on both sides here's the front and then here's the back and then you go over to your sewing machine you stitch it like this you stitch it here straight down to the end of the dress and you do it on this side too you sew a line down to the dress because we're going to insert the drawstring through that place i've done i've done that for the other side of the dress here's the orange color thread i stitch it down to the end of the dress I've sewed it from the waistline down. That's the 18 inches I made. I measured. I've sewed it to the end, but I left two inches. I left two inches for my hem. And also to insert my string. So I'll show you how I inserted my string. First of all, I tied one edge of the string. And then I took the other edge, I pinned it, and then I'm going to insert it in the casing like this. to slide it over to the other side yeah so I'm going to I brought the other side of the string out and then what you do is to go to your machine and just hem. Don't forget to leave the two inches for your hemming and to insert your string. So you use this for your hem. And that's it for this dress. Sorry, lastly for the neck, you just go ahead and not so you have a more relaxed neckline you know. 
you can make the neck tighter if you don't like it loose yes i almost forgot the neck for the neck you just fold it like this and then make a stitch on the side you do the same for the other side fold and stitch because i didn't want to hem it or if you like you can hem it you can just fold it and hem it but i like to fold it and just stitch it on the side here's the rouge drawstring dress please like this video share and subscribe to my channel i love you for watching thank you